Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be speaking about how to choose a menu option using the switch statements with characters for its cases. Now the highlight of the video is the switch statement. This is just a different way of writing if and else statements. So um, probably if, maybe that's what I meant, if, else, if, uh, sorry, else, if, and then else. Okay, so we'll start off by defining two numbers and assign values to them. So the numbers I want are doubles because we're doing some sort of um, simp a simple calculator. So I'm going to call the first one first value and I'm going to give it a value of 12. I'm making my value small so it's easier for us to, um, you know, check that the results are correct. Second value is going to be equal to 6. Next, we will define the characters to store the operator and that's just going to be a char and call it op. Now let's go ahead and draw a, the menu for a simple calculator. So just a bunch of CR statements and I want my menu to kind of look like a uh, sort of like a squarey looking thing. I don't know if that made sense, but um, you'll know what I mean soon. Okay, so this is basically just for displaying purposes. Um, instead of that, actually, I'll have that pipe. So, and then a space. And that's going to be the first operator. So the plus. And then we've got the minus. And then let's do the multiply. Let's then do the division. And that's it. Let's close our menu. And now let's ask the user to, to type in the operator. So I'm thinking about this look just to kind of let the user know that they have to enter something. And then what we want to do is store whatever the user puts in into our operator variable. Okay. Now let's see what that looks like before we go ahead and do any further work. Okay. So the menu is looking like what I want it to look like. And then the user is just going to type in, so say division, and then the user should get the result of the division. But now, how do we display the results to the user? So I'm going to follow these three steps. The first one is to write a switch to identify all the possible cases that could be chosen. And next, we will write code for each case, depending on what needs to be done in each case. And third, we'll use a break to break out of each out of each case, uh, thus break out of the switch block. So to define our switch, we use the keywords um, keyword switch and we want the switch to check for the operator, which is uh, a character yep. and that character is coming from the user. OK, now the possible cases are because operator is a character, so we have to enclose um, our case option with the single quotation indicating that this is our character because that's what came in. So that's our first case. Um, I'm going to break for now. We'll come back to this one later. And I'm going to do my second case, which is the minus and break. So I'm sort of doing one and three at the moment. I'll probably just copy and I'll change them here. So that's going to be the multiply and that's going to be our division. OK, now let's do the, the second part, which is what do I want to happen inside each of these cases? So I'm going to see out and I'm going to start off by giving the equal sign, you know, saying that that's what the result would be. And that would be in the case of addition, it's going to be first number plus our second number. 
So this can be written differently, but um, I'm just doing multiple CR statements really. So for the minus, I'm just going to change the operator and for the multiply, also changing that to multiply and for the division, I'm changing the operator to division. Okay, now let's put this into a test and see that it works as expected. It looks like I haven't got any errors so far. So if I say plus, I get 18 because my first value was 12 plus 6, so that gave us 18. Now what I can do is I can actually put all of that into a do while loop, so I won't have to keep on compiling and you know checking everyone, every each case, which we should do, right? So we want to make sure that every case works as expected. But I think for an easier way to test the work and to make the program a little bit more sort of um, feasible is to actually put all of that into a while loop. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So for the while loop, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll start off here. I'll put in that comment that I've copied just now. And Let's start from here. So we'll go with a do. Now the reason why I've chosen a do while instead of a while is because I I want the the menu to run at least once. Sorry, that's a do, not a dp. Okay. So I want uh, the menu to display. Just need to fix the formatting a little bit. It doesn't change how the program works, but it's easier for us to see what's going on. So I want this to run at least once. And I need to also give the user the option to quit. So for me, I think I'm just going to say X. Maybe it's not very... Maybe you can fix it and make something better if you wanted to. But then I need to have a while. Uh, my while ends if that operator is not equal to X, keep going. That's what we're seeing. And I might want to probably put an inline. Sorry, I put it in the wrong place. That should have been here. And um, because what's going to happen is there isn't a new line after each of these. So I could just see out an end, end L. So that will just kind of um, have a new line after each. Output. Let's let's give this a run and see. Just remember our first values is 12 and 6. So now if I say plus, that's 18. If I say minus, that's 6. If I say multiply, that's 72. And if I say division, that's 2 because 12 divided by 6 is 2. And I can just, you know, there's no point in running this again because nothing's going to change. But obviously a better one would be to actually ask the user to change these values so that they can make more use of the calculator. But anyway, I'm going to quit. So I'll say X and that has terminated our program. So I hope this was helpful to you in in in, in trying out the switch um, as a change from the if and else. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll speak about the default case. So stay tuned.